like in all of my tutorials, um, one of the most important parts is that you have good posture. So real quick recap on perfect posture, your shoulders are rolled back and down. So you roll your shoulders back and down, slide your shoulder blades, I don't know if you can see it, slide your shoulder blades, down your back. Um, your chest is going to be slightly lifted out of uh, neutral. So we don't want you here, we also don't want you here, no sunken chest unless you're dropping. So. So your chest is lifted slightly, your shoulders are back and down, your head's nice and floaty. Your lower belly is slightly tucked, so just taking a little bit of that curve out of the lower back to protect your back. Your abs are tight. From there, we're gonna bend our knees as much as we can without lifting our heel. This will grow for you as you do it. You'll, your calves will stretch out and you'll be able to go deeper. So perfect posture, shoulders back and down, head is nice and floaty, knees are bent, lower belly is slightly tucked, okay? So the mechanical breakdown, <laughs> I'm gonna do this in a couple different ways because everybody learns differently. You can stagger your feet a little bit if that makes your balance better or you can have them right next to each other. You can have them slightly apart if you need to, but you don't want them more than hip width. Hip width is where your points are. You find your points on your, your hip bones and run your hand straight down your leg to, to your foot should come to the middle of your foot. And that's how you know your feet. That's how you'll know that your feet are hip width apart. So if your feet are further apart than that, it's a little too far, and if you can, you want to try and bring them closer together so that you can get that hourglass shape out of your beautiful body. So, we want to try and accentuate all of the gorgeous curves that we have. <clears throat> so bend your knees, slightly tucked, slightly lifted, head is floaty, arms are strong. And your arms are going to sink, so when we practice, we try to drill with our elbows turned up as much as possible. Uh, Barbie arm look, you know? the the unbendable Barbie arm. Do you guys remember those? My Barbies, they had like a crick in their arm. Anyway, so from here, lower belly slightly tucked. We're going to start by, you would pre-prepare this movement by lifting one hip. So one leg's not going to lock straight, but it's going to straighten a little bit. You will never lock your knees. If you lock your knees, it'll totally mess up your flow. So, and it's not good for your knees. So, slightly lock uh, one hip. Forgive me if I sound funny. I've had a cold for like three weeks, so <laughs> I'm uh, still recovering, but you know, I'm doing my best. It's one of the reasons I look like this right now. I uh, look a little haggard, but that's okay because sometimes we're haggard. <laughs> so, sink in your knees, lift one hip, and then you're going to just drop it down. So, lift, drop, lift, drop. So, right now I'm not using my heel, but you can use your heel. I'm not sure if you guys can see my feet. I have a lot smaller space than I used to, so lift up the heel if you want to try and exaggerate that movement, drop. Or just stay with your knees nice and soft, as soft as you can get them, and just lift and squeeze that oblique. So you're squeezing the hip to your rib cage, and drop. Try the other side. Lift, drop. So naturally, if you're going to be locking on, um, doing your locks on the down on both sides, so you can just do one side for whatever movement, or you can do it back and forth to both sides. So if you're going to be doing both sides, you're gonna automatically, just like in the shimmy, switch and lift the other hip as this one locks. So I'm up here, as this one comes down and locks the bottom, I'm automatically switching to this hip. Switch, 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 switch. So the switch is happening in the knees. So you can see it from here. There's a little mirror behind you guys. I'm trying to be able to see if what I'm doing is matching my words. So, so from here, you're gonna do, you can use your heels or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my heels for now and then I'll do it with my heels. So lift that hip, I'm lifting here, sorry I said no heels, lift that hip up, and then drop, 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 drop. I'm going to lift the heels because the knees exaggerate more. No, oh, you can't really see them that well, but maybe here, there we go. Drop, 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 drop. So if you use the heel, the knee doesn't do as much, but if you use just the knees, you can get that very grounded floaty look, especially if you get like a skirt covering your legs, then it just looks like hips are moving, you're not even using your legs, <laughs> you're like moving, and then you can learn to float across the room. So, drop, 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 drop. 
And you can use this very strategically to hit beats. Um, you can use it fast where you lock, 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 lock